Good morning. It is great to be back in the Winters High School after getting a house call last year in Raymore with all the things that we were going through. It's tough to get 2,000 people in a living room unless your parents are out of town and you have a lot of followers on Instagram like Lindsay Noon. And she could attract a big crowd, am I right? Possibly? Yeah. Okay. That's what I heard. We're also thrilled to have the McCarthy Auto Group as our presenting sponsor this year. We're grateful for their support in the high school community. Here is Carl Kramer from McCarthy Auto Group. Well, good morning. McCarthy Auto Group is really proud to be the presenting sponsor of the Simone Awards. Uh, but first, I want to say uh, a thank you to the Simone family. You know, it's their trust in us to allow us to enter into a long-standing tradition to do what we can to support it. So uh, we recognize the responsibility we have in supporting your family, and we look forward to it. So the McCarthy Audit Group, John McCarthy, and the Simone family share a lot of common traits. So we have a strong passion for our supporting high school football in Kansas City, supporting youth, and supporting these young men that are going to be leaders in their communities moving forward on and off the field. So when we look at what we are going to do in support of this, we are going to look to expand and tell more people about the Smoney Awards, what these student athletes have done on and off the field. It's what differentiates them on the field as well as off in the leaders that they are now and the leaders that they will become. And one thing that McCarthy Auto Group really enjoys doing in supporting the communities we serve is education. We award over 60 high school scholarships annually. So we thought it was important to incorporate high school education in the continuing through college into how we support this tradition and legacy of the Simone Awards. So I'll work with the Simone family and then we will select a student athlete that will receive a one-time $5,000 scholarship that I'll award at their awards banquet in the spring. So again, it's our privilege and honor to be part of this tradition. It's great to be here live in person today, but really look to continue to support what the Simone family has done, why these awards were inspired, and how long they've done a great work in supporting the community at large. Thank you very much. In 1983, this award was born in tragedy, yet became an annual celebration of greatness and inspiration. We remember a life that ended before high school at age 12. Tommy would have turned 50 this past April. His message remains timeless. This is the story of Tommy Simone. You know, Tommy and I got to be friends uh early on through baseball, football, basketball, playing all sports together. And he was uh, w one of those guys that at a very early age, you could tell, as I look back now, had a real positive influence on me. He was my big brother. Um, we did everything together. He was that guy that you could lean on as a teammate, made you feel good about yourself, lifted people up. He was a loving, caring young man. He was big for his age, and he wouldn't, but he wouldn't let uh, the fellow classmates, you know, pick on kids that were not as fortunate or not as popular. He was um, kind of wise beyond his years, um, I would have to say. All of us probably later on as we became more athletic and got older and started learning leadership qualities. It's kind of funny you look back and Tommy had those at 10 and 11 years old. And so uh, he was a really special guy, somebody that I miss a lot. That day, um, it was the day that changed my life. Anthony Simone was writing some checks when his son told him he was going next door to the drugstore for some bubble gum. But the pharmacy was closed, so Tommy had to cross the street to a grocery store. Uh, I heard uh, a screech and uh, glass breakage and just sounded like an accident. And uh, I jumped straight up and ran outside and uh, I saw him laying up the street. You know, just driving down there, we were thinking, oh, he has a broken leg. You know, something to that extent, that's kind of what our conversation was, driving down to the hospital. Um, 
and it was the moment that we walked in, um, my mom saw my dad's face and she just fell to the floor. This is your first game, son. I hope you win. I hope you win for your sake, not mine. Because winning is nice, it's a good feeling. Like the whole world, it's yours. But it passes this feeling. And what lasts is what you've learned. And what you learn about is life. That's what sports is all about, life. I, I just think it was his spirit and I uh, I, I can't say at the time I thought that it was important other than to keep his name alive, the spirit alive. You know, I, I still get emotional when I, when I think about it. I, I look back and I remember looking at my father, you know, when I was standing up there getting my award and uh, thinking, wow, you know, I mean, he was so proud. And, and, and then I remember looking at Anthony and, and Edie and, and you know, there, there were tears in their eyes for, for, for different reasons, you know. I mean, there was joy and, and there was sadness, you know, because, you know, I was representing, you know, I was representing their family, I was representing their son. It's beyond any, any dream that I could ever have about where it has grown to and, and, it's, and it's all because of Tommy's spirit again and our friends and, and people that uh, see what the award is about and take it to heart. Yeah, I get the chill, I get the chills right now just thinking about it. Knowing Anthony Needy and knowing Tommy, I'm not surprised that his memory has developed this into this. I'm not surprised that the type of person he was could have led to something like this. To see these great athletes and, and how, you know, it, it, this, is what, this is what they strive for. This is what, you know, the beginning of the year that, you know, they want, you know, they want to win the Simone. I mean, it's like, it's like the Heisman Trophy for college players. I mean, they, they want to win this award. Um, and I don't think until they win it and they get to the ceremony, they realize the importance of what it really, really is. If one, if five, if 50 of them, listen to this and understand the, the mantra of the love, courage, friendship champions, then I, I think that's fantastic and, and I think he has a positive impact on a lot of young people even today. As I sit back now and just see what it's become, it is such an honor um, that people hold that in the high regard because to us, we look at it as this is the way we can carry on my brother's name. The winner of the 2021 Otis Taylor Award is Moody Rubin, Senior Park Hill South. Moody, congratulations. You were gonna play soccer, huh? Yeah, um, I wanted to be a soccer player two years ago and I wanted to be a professional soccer player, but now I'm here, so. Football kind of took over. Were you a forward at least? Were you a goal scorer? Correct, yeah, I was played center forward. Okay, and you traded that off for scoring in the end zone for football games. 20 yards per completion this year. Were you kind of the big play threat? Is that how you describe yourself at Park Hill South? Um, I describe myself as honestly any other football player at Park Hill South. <laughs> I mean, everything that I did was based off what my coaches taught me and what my teammates brought to me, so I couldn't have done it without them, and I'm appreciative for them. 11-1, one of the best seasons ever at Park Hill South. What was this year's ride like? I mean, a lot of hard work, a lot of grind, and a, a lot of integrity from the whole team. So you're off to Stanford now, right? Correct. And pretty soon, right? A few days? Correct. I leave December 31st. Very nice. What was it about the Cardinal that, uh, that was a fit for you? Um, first off, the weather. I'm not a cold, <laughs> I'm not a cold weather type of guy. But... Ditch that letter jacket, right? Those are, those are heavy and uh, they're warm. Oh, yeah. But honestly, I mean, the opportunities that it brought for me, um, 
when I graduate from Stanford, I'm going to be able to do whatever I want with my career and my life, whether it's football or whether it's going into medicine. So uh, Stanford had that best opportunity for me. Therefore, I chose the Cardinal. Well, congratulations. Anybody you'd like to thank? Um, everybody in this gym for showing <laughs> out. And then my dad right there, my mom, my coach OJ right there, and my head coach Wilmus. Awesome stuff. Congratulations, Moody Aruban. What a career at Park Hill South going to Stanford. And the Bobby Bell Award for 2021, senior linebacker from Smithville, Cody Samanse. Hey, congratulations. Is there enough room in Smithville for all this hardware coming back? Um, we're definitely putting a couple of hardware up there. There's a couple of room for it, so. What's, the, uh, what's this week been like since Friday and you guys bring home the trophy in uh, Missouri Class 4? I mean, it's unreal. It's something we've always dreamed of since we were kids. Growing up playing Northland Longhorns football, and we just had to make it happen for Smithville. All right, I got to know, how many total points did the first string defense for Smithville give up this year? Um, well, going into the semifinal game, I think it was maybe 36 or something like that. And then we, for the whole season? Yeah, for the whole season. So, And then into the semifinals, MICDS put up quite a few on us, so probably 70 around 70. But then the shutout in the state championship game. Yes, sir. Yes. And what are you doing on offense in that state championship game? I was playing a little quarterback, a little wildcat, running the ball around, towing the rock. It's just what they told me to do, so I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun scoring touchdowns. Hey, congratulations. Anybody else you'd like to thank? Uh, I mean, my coaches, of course. Coach Ambro, who's right there. Uh, my family, uh, my brother, for sure, who's pushed me a long ways, and then just everybody here. You got a basketball season coming up, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you taking a week off, though? It was a little yeah. time? Okay. A little time to recover and rest up a little bit. Awesome. Cody Smotzik, 2021 Bell Award winner, defense and offense. We are proud to recognize greatness out of the Interscholastic League, one of the conferences in the Metro with incredible history. The top offensive and defensive players both came off a Lincoln College prep team that won a district title for the first time since the turn of the century. They advanced to the state quarterfinals and finished the year 11-1. Our top offensive player in the IL, sophomore running back John Price, and on defense, it's senior Antonio Jones, a Bobby Bell finalist. If both would make their way over to McShafer, we can hear more from these two fine young men. Please give them a hand. Our top players out of the IL, offense and defense. Uh, that was a heck of a game, though, you guys played in the playoffs. And what a season. What was 2021 like for you guys? Uh, it was different. It's just the class of 2022, we had a lot of leaders who led our young group, and we made a lot of great plays when we needed them. And it maybe wasn't as expected from people outside the program this year because you graduated so much talent last year. What were your expectations going into this year? My expectations really was to feed off what Coach put out for us and just execute whatever he did put out, really. And, and what a season it was. What's it like playing on the blue turf? Because everybody's jealous. It's one of the coolest fields out there. Oh, yeah. The blue turf is definitely one of the best fields, and I love it. Hey, I wish we would have got a chance to play versus Smithville in the blue turf, but uh, definitely love the blue turf. It was uh, you were absolutely one of the best teams in uh, Missouri Class 4 this year, ran into the state champs. What's, what's the future look like for Lincoln Prep? Oh, the future's very bright. We will, we, we got more stuff to prove. Love it. Blue Tigers here. Congratulations, guys, the IL Players of the Year. This year, the Styles Award goes to two assistant coaches in Olathe, one from James High School. Chris Burnett was known as Coach Cheese, an educator at Olathe East who loved football, playing it, teaching it at the high school level and with an all-women's team. He used the game as a tool, as a mentor, stressing positivity and growth. Chris was a relationship builder. He survived by his wife, Ashley, and four children, Medea, Lakisa, Jasmine, and Chris Jr., CJ. His mom and dad, Carolyn and Kim, are also here. Family, if you would please come forward. Coach Burnett, our first Styles Inspiration Award winner for 2021. It is truly an honor for us to be here today. You try not to be emotional, but we are very, very proud of our son. And I know his wife is too. I know his children are too. Um, Chris has always been a person that loved everybody. From the time when he was in middle school, he volunteered with the special needs students in the school. He would go and work with them and take care of them. Him and my daughter both 
went to special need proms, did different things with those type of children. And then he also just loved the game of football. Oh my goodness. Um, football, 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 football. Um, so he loved it, he, he, he lived it everywhere from Olathe North football, where he was a part of those championship teams, when he played for the Midwest Titans, when he um, finished those things. But coaching seemed to be his number one love because he wanted to make sure that young men knew that you could take this avenue of football and this game of football and turn it into something great for yourself. You can take your dreams, you can take this athletics, and then you can become whatever you want to be. Um, I looked on his page and what I found was so profound. It said, a coach will impact more young people in a year than the average person does in a lifetime. I truly believe that that is what my son did for several people, because at 34 years old, the love and the support that we gained from the community and our families was amazing. We are grateful. We want to say thank you to our Olathe East Hawk family. I know we're in Blue Valley country, but it's Hawk Nation. Um, we want to say thank you to our Kansas City Glory family. The Kansas City Glory is the women's professional team that is along with the Kansas City Chiefs. So he did fulfill a dream of being a professional football coach. I also want to say thank you to our Bulldog family. Those are the little league flag teams that we've had, he had over the years. And to our Olathe community, family and friends, we are forever grateful. We know that his name will never die. And we appreciate you all very much. Thank you. Our second inspiration winner coached at Olathe North, a mountain of a man who was in charge of the Eagles offensive line for head coach Chris McCartney. A man's man who, as it turned out, wanted to be exactly like his wife. When he watched Tiffany coach, he wanted to feel that same passion in a job where you can make a difference that extends far beyond the final game. Olathe North players wore JD stickers the rest of the year on their helmets after his passing. The day players found out they beat Olathe Northwest that night in an emotional game. Josh is survived by his wife, Tiffany, a teacher at Olathe North, and children, Ella, Belle, Bo, and Ivy Joe. Dirk's family, please come forward and receive your award. First, I'd like to say thank you to the Simone family. This is emotional for recognizing my Josh. Thank you for giving my children and I one more chance to honor their daddy. Thank you, Coach McCartney and Olathe North Football for continuing to honor Josh, for allowing Josh to be a part of your legacy, and for making a difference at North as well. You're right, Josh did want to be like me. I started coaching a long time ago and Josh would come to all of my games and say, boy, this is fun. Boy, I miss football. Boy, I should have done this. And I said, yep, you should have. And he went back to school and got his coaching degree. And that began his legacy. Josh played football at Pittsburgh State, won a lot of titles down there, a lot of rings. And he took what he learned from the gorillas and he put it into his coaching aspect. And he decided a long time ago that he would have a mantra of live a life that leaves a legacy. And he sure did it. From coaching little bitty guys, he was my son's football coach, all the way up to coaching at the college level. Josh made sure that every player that he worked with knew his priorities in one order, faith, family, and football. And he never wavered on it, no matter if he was pushed or got pushed back from others. He never changed who he was. He never changed what his priorities were. And those around him respected him for it. Parents respected him for how he led their children, and the young men respected how he led them. He made sure that everything that he did pointed back to what his goals were. He told the young men that you can be successful in football and you don't have to compromise your values or your morals. 
You don't have to change who you are to meet the social quorum. You can be who you are, you can stand for what you believe in, and you can make a difference. And Josh has done that for hundreds of young men. But for the four people that I think he did it the most for are standing right here. Josh has inspired my children to live a life, to reach for their goals, to be successful in everything that they do, and to make a difference for those around them. We are forever grateful that you have recognized Josh today. I am sorry for your loss as well. We feel your pain inside us as, as well. But my kids and I want to just say thank you for remembering who their daddy was and who he will continue to be forever. Thank you. Our coach of the year is named after Eric Driscoll, the late coach at Blue Valley who had such pride in his job, way beyond just winning. He loved those kids and made Tiger football a family. The Eric Driscoll Coach of the Year for 2021, sponsored by the Chiefs Ambassadors, your Husky head coach, Clint Ryder. <laughs> Courtesy of the Chiefs Clark Hunt National Football League, Coach Ryder will be going to Super Bowl 51 in Los Angeles. Hey, congratulations. Although, I don't know how good a coach you had to be. You had the Simone Award winner on your team. That makes things pretty easy. <laughs> uh, you know, obviously, Mikey is, is a huge part of what, what we've been able to do here the last, uh, you know, couple of years. And um, just so thankful for his teammates and, and an athlete like him. When did you know that, okay, this team was special, this team could get it done? Well, I think we've seen that for the last four years, just by how they work and how they support each other, and 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 how hard they're willing to get, you know, to to do whatever they need to do to win. Um, so we knew that if you know we continue to focus on getting better each week, that uh, that this team had a shot, and they compete and they're winners, and and so it's no surprise whenever those guys come out on top because that's what they've done their entire life. The entire state of Kansas wants to know how do you beat Derby? Have really good players. <laughs> Good game plan, too. They're up 28-0 on the Panthers and blew them out. Coach, congratulations. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Thank you. Very much appreciated. The winner of the Buck Buchanan Award presented by the Chiefs Ambassadors doesn't happen very often. A sophomore, Melvin Laster from Liberty North. Winning this thing as a sophomore, what does that mean to you? Um, it's an honor, so yeah, it's, it's amazing to think about it, you know. You started as a freshman. I didn't know Greg Jones liked freshmen. I didn't think he liked me either. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign of a good player, right? When he's tough on you, right? He's, uh, he likes you the most. Um, well, you started as a freshman for the powerhouse team. What was this year like? One of the best teams in Missouri. I know it ended a little sooner than you wanted to, but what was the ride like? It was amazing. Um, just, um, we didn't, we, we came short last year, you know, we lost the game after districts and it just felt great getting to the state but it didn't feel very well you know losing but I know we'll be there next year so that's why I'm not like very yeah. sad so Melvin congratulations well done 2021 you can award winner nice job and the winner of the Frank Fontana award to the most outstanding player in the small school category from St. James Academy 4A state champion quarterback Jackson House. Hey, winning a state title and this award, how's this year going for you? Pretty good? Yeah, it's going pretty good. I mean, I got to thank my teammates, my coaches. Wouldn't be, wouldn't been possible without them. And uh, yeah, it's been a great year so far. We saw your reaction, your family's reaction when you won the award, when it was presented on KSHB 41. Your little brothers said that they didn't think you were going to win. Is that right? Yeah, they were a little shocked when I won. <laughs> so uh, my little brother gave a big fist bump, started yelling a little bit. Uh, it was pretty cool. That's good. Maybe they have confidence uh, in you now. Hey, from 0-4 to state champs, what clicked for you guys this year? Really, I mean, uh, we were a young team all year, so it, it took us a little bit to get going. But uh, once we learned how to play together and uh, how to trust each other, it really everything started clicking. We went from, uh, I think in the first four games, we had 36 total points. Then the last nine games, we were averaging 40 points. So uh, big turnaround for sure. Yeah, led by the quarterback uh, indeed there. Um, your dad is the Chiefs linebackers coach. How did you escape the defensive side of the ball? <laughs> I mean, it, it took a little bit of convincing. He for sure wanted me to stay on that side of the ball, uh, be hitting people instead of trying to make people miss. But uh, 
once he saw the, he saw I could throw the football a little bit, he liked me at quarterback. <laughs> Lefty too. Do you do everything left-handed? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, congratulations, Jackson House. Mikey Pauly, this is your life. Please come forward and receive the Simone Trophy for 2021. Congratulations. Thank you. You got your whole school out of class. I know. It's it's great thing seeing them here. Everybody say thank you, Mikey. Thank you, Mikey. What a season. When did you know that this, this team was special and could win it all in Kansas 6A? Uh, just kind of my freshman year and in and, and eighth grade also. Just We knew that if we stuck together, uh, playing it out, having as many guys as we can get out there playing together, then we knew we'd do something special here. And just through every summer, every workout, every weights class, and all the practices, we knew we could do it at Northwest. And bringing home the first state championship is super special for this group of seniors and every guy that helped out. Do you have a basketball game tonight? Yeah. You're playing? Yeah. Very nice. It's a big game, too, I hear. You're pretty good. I mean, they are state champs here. You play. You've been playing, like, the last couple of years. You're dunking all over the place. Good stuff. So what, what about college plans? Committed to Nebraska? Is it still up in the air? What, what, what goes on from here? Yeah, I signed with Nebraska. I'm super excited to be part of the, that squad coming in for the baseball guys. And, yeah, just been communicating with the football side, uh, just figuring everything out. But I'm super excited to be up there. Very nice. Congratulations. Anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, definitely my family and uh, Coach Ryder and all everybody part of Northwest football and uh, the stands that came or the fans that came out to the game on Saturday and just everyone that's part of the program. I'm super thankful for them and just, just proud to be a Husky. Yeah, congratulations, your 2021 Simone Award winner, Mikey Polly, part of a big family now. Congratulations.